what's your first impression of Drake Jackson in person? Um, it's it, to me what I heard D'Amico and Bosa say about him doesn't match what I'm seeing on the field. To me, he right. seems a little high cut, so yep. he's got kind of longer legs, kind of a shorter torso, mm -hmm. and he looks explosive. But he also looks like he, I'm not what, what I'm not sure what he's weighing out there. I I, I think he looks he doesn't look like a super lean. No. electric edge rusher to me he no. seems like a bigger bodied guy who can who could almost be like a arden key i mean he looked, I, I would i would say he looks like about 270 and then and, and to me at i thought he's better at 250 so Thank i don't know he's I, listening to me to he, was a little heavy. he waited at, at 254 at the combine why did he put on 19 pounds in a couple of months i don't know it doesn't make any sense i was expecting to see another like d4 type and that's not what i'm seeing at all he looks like like he has 19 pounds of water weight or something on him that doesn't need to be there. It's, it's strange. Now, again, he could be great down the line, but right now it looks like he needs to completely remake his body. Yeah. I mean, that, that's my takeaway too. I mean, I, I'm now listening to Bosa, who is a, such a student of that position. Yeah. And he talked today and he talked about his freakish uh, gymnastics background, ability to bend and and I, I'll take his word for it. I'll take his Me word too. for it. And D'Amico, um, you know, was like, <laughs> this kid's special and, you know, he can get the passer and, you know, we really like what we see. So, you know what? I mean, um, that's why I don't put too much credence in minicamp because, you know, 20 pounds is a lot. And if you show – there's a big difference between him showing up at, like, let's say, 260 – in camp as opposed to 273 or 277 right. yeah. in mini camp and he could get there you know so yeah. i'll wait till the summer but you got three weeks see, three months before week one absolutely he seems bigger and not as explosive as i was thinking it doesn't he doesn't look like this electric first step um d ford you know he beats you no. out of your stance and before you even look up he's he and also i'll tell you the other thing that i noticed is that at the with the out added weight, he when he does get neutralized, he's a speed rusher with added weight. So I don't see a lot of I don't see a lot of counters. I don't see a lot of secondary moves. I see a guy who's a speed rusher who needs to lean out. Right now he does, as Bosa said, he's got the natural bend, which is rare. He's got right. the length. Like he has two things Bosa doesn't have. He's got longer arms and he has the natural bend. Bosa was like in awe of both things. Uh, that's great. And again, that's probably going to make him a very, very, very good pass rusher one day. But his body's not what I expected. I, I remember what Bosa looked like as a rookie. I remember what Alden Smith looked like as a rookie. Like, this is not – you could tell that why he dropped to the end of round two is what I'm saying. I could totally tell why he dropped to the end of round two. I thought he was going to look like Leonard Floyd. Yeah, me too. You know? I thought he was going to look like, like, like Kenneth Gray. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lean yes. and, like, uh, incredibly fast – but like when he's neutralized, you can, you know, uh, if he doesn't get there with his first move, I knew he didn't have an array of moves. It wasn't like that surprised me, but the body kind of surprised me. So who knows? I mean, we're talking grand about a guy who played one year at 245 and another year close to 275. Right. So I think finding exactly his optimal, you know, playing weight is, is part of the challenge with, you know, kind of transitioning him to the NFL. Yeah, figured, and, you know, I, gotta figure that out. I'd love to know. Did the Niners tell him he needed to be 273 immediately, or is that something that he decided? I mean, I, here's he what played, I he I played it. well as a he played well his first year, and he played at a, at 273. True, um, but I think in the for the NFL game, his game is speed, and he's everything's going to be predicated on his ability to at will get the edge. And if he can't at will get the edge, I think everything else kind of breaks down. So to me, I think the lighter the lighter number is what I'd like to see. Me too. I mean, you're replacing D4, you're a wide nine defensive end, you're outside the tight end. You don't, you're not gonna be going up one on one against offensive tackles and guards that much. I just want to know he waited at 254 at the combine, and then it is pro day, like a month or two later, he was 273. Why? Did 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 some scout say we your stock will go up if you're at 273? I mean. It's not real weight. What, what, what is it's not functional? I don't get it, but I think it's a concern. That's a concern. I mean, any, I mean, you know, who knows? It could be nothing and it could just be like, hey, I don't get real serious until June, or it could be uh, something that derails his whole 
careers. So, I mean, it's like, as you know, it's hard to say in May at many camps, especially when we don't have a track record with the player of exactly what category he falls into here. But um, he's got to say, to me, he should be, he should be at least 15 pounds lighter and then really capitalize on that quickness off the edge. To me, I, I'm thinking a lot of teams were disappointed, probably disappointed that he weighed in at 254 at the combine. And I think he probably heard, well, your stock will go up if you at your pro day, you can put up some good agility numbers at 270. And that's probably what he went for. And he did it. But I mean, to, that that's just to improve your stock. Now to be the best football player you can be, you don't need to be 273 on a wide nine defense. It doesn't make any, you're, you're bigger than Bosa. He's seven pounds bigger than Bosa who has like 4% body fat. Drake Jackson doesn't have 4% body fat. He does not need to be bigger than Bosa. He should be low, leaner than Bosa. Lighter than Bosa. Anyway, Drake has got he, did, he 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 looked a little he looked a little um You're gonna say winded? Like, I don't want to say winded, but he just looked a little uncomfortable out there too. Like he was a, I didn't see him really make a lot of plays. But you know what? The way these guys talked about him with such reverence and with such respect, I'm just going to table my all my observations on Drake Jackson until the pads come on. 